Narcissists, they control everything like puppet masters in the big show of mind games, making things go their way. They can be your boyfriend or girlfriend, your friend, or even someone in your family, always looking for ways to their power. One of their sneakiest tricks they use is something we all need, food. Yes, food, we all need it in ways you wouldn't expect. They can turn even the simplest things like food into a weapon to hurt others. Here are five ways a narcissist weaponizes food to abuse you. Firstly, they disguise control as concern. This is a classic maneuver, a masterstroke of manipulation, where the narcissist coaxes you into a false sense of security. Imagine you're sitting down at the dinner table, ready to tuck into your favorite dish. But then they step in, their voice laced with worry. Darling, are you sure you should be eating that? I'm just concerned about your health. At first, it might sound like they're genuinely worried about your well-being. But make no mistake, this is a covert strategy to control what you put on your plate. They're not simply recommending a healthier alternative. They're dictating your diet. They decide what you should eat, when you should eat it and how much you should consume. It's a powerful tool in their arsenal used to control you under the guise of concern. The psychological impact of this control is profound. It's not just about the food, it's about autonomy. Food is a fundamental part of our lives. It's tied to our culture, our identity, our sense of self. When someone dictates your diet, they're not just controlling what you eat, they're controlling a part of who you are. This control seeps into your psyche, eroding your confidence. You start questioning your own judgment, doubting your own decisions. The food you once loved becomes a source of anxiety, a battleground for control. You're not just eating a meal, you're navigating a minefield of manipulation. And the worst part, you may not even realize it's happening. It's a slow, insidious process, a gradual tightening of the reins, you think they're looking out for you, trying to help you, but in reality, they're just tightening their grip, exerting control over your life. So under the veil of care, they dictate your dietary habits. It's not concern, it's control, plain and simple. They're not safeguarding your health. They're asserting their dominance, using food as a weapon to keep you under their thumb. Secondly, they criticize your table manners. This may seem a tad peculiar, even laughable, but it's a very real tactic employed by narcissists to undermine your self-confidence. You see, narcissists are experts at finding ways to make their victims feel small. And one way they do this is by constantly criticizing your table manners. Picture this. You're sitting down to a meal, ready to enjoy the food before you. But then the narcissist starts. They remark on how you're holding your fork or how you're cutting your food. Suddenly, the act of eating, something you've done effortlessly since you were a child, becomes a source of tension and self-doubt. This criticism isn't just limited to the way you hold your utensils. It extends to the speed at which you eat, the sounds you make while chewing, even the order in which you eat your food. You find yourself second-guessing your every move, feeling self-conscious and increasingly uncomfortable. It's a cruel game, one designed to make you feel as though you're constantly under a microscope. The narcissist knows this and revels in the power it gives them over you. They understand that by attacking something as personal as your table manners, they can chip away at your self-esteem and make you feel inadequate. Now you might think, it's just table manners, I can handle a little criticism. But it's not just about the criticism, it's about the narcissist using this as a tool to control and manipulate you. It's about them turning something as simple and basic as eating into a battleground where every bite is an opportunity for them to belittle and demean you. So how do you handle this? First, recognize it for what it is, a manipulation tactic. Do not let their comments get to you. Remember, it's not about your table manners. It's about their need for control. You have the right to enjoy your meals without being subjected to constant criticism. Even the smallest details of your eating habits become a target for their scrutiny. But remember, this is not about you. It's about them, their insecurities and their need to feel superior. Stand firm and don't let them rob you of the simple pleasure of enjoying your food. Thirdly, they make you feel guilty for enjoying your favorite food. It's a universal truth that food brings joy. It's as natural as the sun rising in the east. But a narcissist in their twisted game of control will try to rob you of this simple pleasure. They do this by weaving a web of guilt and shame around your eating habits. Imagine this. 
You're indulging in your favorite treat, a moment of pure bliss. Suddenly a derogatory comment or a subtle jab lands like a punch to the gut. The narcissist might say something like, oh, are you really going to eat that or remember your diet? The joy dissipates, replaced by a bitter taste of guilt, a shadow of shame. The result, a cloud of guilt hovers every time you reach for something you love. Food becomes a battleground, pleasure becomes a war crime. Your simple joys are tainted with guilt and shame. Fourthly, they constantly criticize your body, your weight, or your diet. This is a particularly insidious way that narcissists manipulate and control their victims. They know that our self-image and self-esteem are intricately tied to our bodies and how we perceive them. By constantly belittling your appearance or your diet, they aim to lower your self-esteem and make you feel less worthy. You might find that a narcissist will make snide remarks about your weight or make fun of your body shape. They might say things like, you're looking a bit chunky, aren't you? Or maybe you should skip dessert tonight. These comments are not innocent or playful jabs. They are calculated attacks on your self-esteem designed to make you feel insecure and self-conscious. Narcissists know that when we feel insecure about our bodies, we are more likely to seek validation from others. And who better to give us that validation than the narcissists themselves? They create a problem only to present themselves as the solution. It's a cruel cycle of manipulation and control. Furthermore, they may also critique your diet. They might say that you're eating too much junk food or not enough protein or too many carbs. They might comment on every meal you eat, making you feel like you can't do anything right. They might even try to control what you eat under the guise of caring about your health. But in reality, it's all about control. They want to dictate what you eat, how much you eat, and even when you eat. They want to be the ones to determine your self-worth. And they do this by controlling your body and your diet. Remember, your body is your own. Your weight is your business. Your diet is your choice. Don't let a narcissist dictate how you feel about yourself. They hold the mirror of their expectations to control your self-perception. Lastly, they control access to food and pick fights when you are about to eat. Yes, you heard it right. Food, one of our most basic needs, becomes a weapon in their hands. They manipulate the very thing that is meant to nourish us. They use it to weaken us, both physically and emotionally. In their hands, food becomes a tool for control. They may limit access to food, dictate what you can and cannot eat, or even use food as a punishment or reward. They might hide your favorite snacks or throw away food you've bought for yourself. This is not just about power. It's about creating a sense of dependence and fear. And it doesn't stop there. They might pick fights right before mealtimes, turning what should be a pleasant, relaxing moment into a battleground. The tension and anxiety can make eating unbearable. This is a cunning strategy. The stress of these confrontations can lead to loss of appetite, further weakening you physically. This is not just about making you skip a meal or two. It's a long-term strategy designed to break you down, to make you feel weak and vulnerable. It's a form of starvation, not just of your body, but also of your spirit. Because when you're weak, you're easier to manipulate. When you're hungry, you're less likely to resist their control. They might even use meal times to gaslight you, to make you question your own memory and perception. They might deny that they've restricted your food or insist that you're imagining things. This is all part of their game, their twisted strategy to control and dominate you. So remember, it's not just about the food. It's about power, control, and manipulation. It's about them wanting to keep you weak, dependent, and under their thumb. By controlling your food, they control you. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give thumbs up for more videos like this. Hit subscribe button.